In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to walk you through making some super awesome fire and smoke. So, um, yeah, let's get started here. Click on General, and here we are with our cube. And let's get rid of this cube. I'm going to delete it. We won't need it. And let me click on Add Mesh. And I'm, what I'm going to be adding here is a UV sphere. And this is going to be the item that we are, quote unquote, lighting on fire and making smoke. So it will be in the modifiers. I went through each of those. We're going to be using physics in a second. But what we're going to start with is the next step is in the modifiers. And it's a subdivision surface modifier. We're just going to smooth out the surface. It's going to give the flame a better appearance. So let me go ahead and set both of these to three. And yeah, that's a really nice smooth surface. And I'm going to apply this. And now with the uh, sphere still selected, I went to object and I'm going to quick effects and quick smoke because this is one of their well quick effects. They're baked in, they're baked in uh, because you can also bake an object, one of their pre-made effects. And here we are, we're given the domain and our sphere is going to change to look all uh, black if you have done this correctly. So the domain is the area that the smoke can exist within. And I'm going to mess with it. So take note that I have selected the domain and I'm increasing its size. You kind of have to play around and see what you like. Mine's going to be more of a straight up flame uh, uh, contained within a shaft, if you will. But again, if you dislike that shape, you are, of course, welcome to try out your own. This contains not just the flame, but it's also going to limit the spread and area of the smoke, as you'll see shortly. What I am doing here, let me just move up Z a bit just to kind of push the domain upwards. So the flame is going to be headed that direction anyways. Two is looking better. And then for a scale, two on X, yeah, two on Y and five on Z. Let me go over to my spear. And let's see. Okay, so at this point, I am going to be headed to the to the physics section. And I'm going to change the flow type from smoke to fire and smoke because we want, well, fire and smoke. Just smoke is boring. So now that I have that all changed, let's go ahead and reset this to the first frame. And I'm hitting play. That is already looking pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to pause and reset it again. I see that some changes that I want to make. Let me just to the smoke domain. I want to make it taller, give it some room for, well, the fire and smoke. Yeah, six looks about right, back and forth. And Let's do the resolution division on the domain. Notice that I've selected the main to 64. Oh, that's looking really good. All right, so I'm on shading. I'm headed. What I was just clicking on was shading. I'm going to zoom out. It's hard to kind of get these things into perspective. And, uh, yeah, 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 the bar. Got it. Okay. And again, notice I am on the, well, the domain. I'm going to add shader. And let's drop this. That will be fine. Yeah. And if I do this right, yep, perfect. So now I've got these two linked to it. And we also need an attribute. And we're just going to drop this right away here. Let me zoom in on it some so we can see it. And let me give it a name. Flame makes sense to me. And 
And then as you'll see, I'll be connecting all of these up. And this is how the different parts of shading, the different properties of shading interact with each other, how you combine them to create really interesting uh, and unique, well, shades, colors, animations in general. All right, so let's see, why is this not popping up here? Here we are, we're looking for math. Don't get too scared, we're gonna add a value here. And pull this up, there we are. And now we're gonna switch this actually from add to what we're wanting is to multiply, there we are. And then add, we're getting there, emission. Yeah, we want to add the emission uh, property. Emission can make something brighter, right? The idea that it would be admitting light is what that's going to be, what that allows us to do. So let me connect the face and value here. And that is better. The top one, attribute face to multiply value and a value of five. And now let me do multiply value to admission strength is looking good. Great. Okay, so these are all connected and now I'm setting it up. Let's set it up to, yep, I'm gonna connect emission to the add shader shader. And now this is where you are going to mess with the color of your flame. I'm going to do a really orangey one, but if you want to check out a super blue flame or a super purple frame, that is where. Let's head back to layout now. And go ahead and grab our light here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it into a sun for these purposes. It is at a thousand strength, which is super bright. So let's turn this down to maybe a 10. And you might even shut it off entirely depending on what you're doing with this. Now at this point, we're not seeing the impact of the light. We are just about there. There's just a few finishing touches we could do here. So this is just about perfect. You can leave that sphere if you want. Um, I like it to hide it it. And so the final step with this would just be to hide the sphere and fire. We have done it. Hopefully this was helpful. Make sure to like, make sure to hit subscribe and go make some really awesome fiery stuff.